keep the blood flowing in your veins is vital. Unfortunately, there's a large group of people who has experienced difficulties with it. Fortunately, the next company is able to detect any issues way faster than any other company in the world. Let's meet Neftech. My name is Yan Ling from Neftech. Kidney failure is crippling healthcare systems all over the world. It's very costly. 60%, 60% of these patients suffer from blood vessel blockages. And this costs healthcare systems $30 billion. $30 billion! Why is this so? Current technologies are outdated. They are invasive difficult to use, and at the same time, require multiple assessments over six months to identify these blood vessel blockages. This is why nurses are unable to tell when to send these patients to the hospital, and so the cost. NEFTEC has developed a solution which is easy to use, non-invasive, and just within one minute, we are able to have instantaneous results to show the patient's uh, blood vessel condition. This is leveraging on AI and sensor technology, and we have three patents pending. In order to bring this technology to the market, we have a group of uh, a well-rounded team of uh, medical device R&D and clinical trials. As such, we are also supported by amazing advisors from AI development and hardware as well. So. To date, we have 700 patients who have tested on our device, and this ensures the safety and efficacy of this device. And what's exciting for us now at NEFTEC is we have three letters of intent, and this allows us access to 8,600 patients in five different countries. This is a total estimated contract revenue of $1.8 million. And so, we need your help. We are looking to fundraise, and we have activities to commercialize this technology. Of these, we have already manufacturing partnerships in place, and so your help is important to us. If you are interested in a $30 billion market, and at the same time, help to save lives, come and look for me at my booth later. And together, we can help to reduce hospital and healthcare inefficiencies. Thank you. When you travel to a new country and you don't know the local language, ordering food can be quite hard when you're at the restaurant. Not anymore. Please welcome WTF. Steel goes ow, 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 but there's no sound that no one knows. Hello everyone, this is Harry from WTF. The profit margin of restaurants in Japan is just 4%. For a lot of reasons, like huge food losses, expensive labor. Think about it, a waiter alone costs $2,000 a month. Big branded restaurants have reduced their labor costs and improved their margins by implementing iPads, robotic waiters, and even these ticketing machines. But what can small restaurants do when it costs $10,000 to compete with these giants and improve their operations? This is the story of 90% of the restaurants. Not anymore. Presenting to you WTF, a simple solution to automate all the front-end operations of a restaurant. No fancy tech needed, no additional capital expenditure. Everything right from your mobile. We turn a diner's mobile into a restaurant's waiter. Now, diners can just take out their phone, check the menu, place the order, and even get personalized recommendations based on their taste preferences. It's so simple and convenient, right? 
Not just that. Restaurants can improve their margins tremendously while reducing their turnaround time. All of this at just $100 a month. Just $100. This is the reason in three months of starting to build, we have 150 restaurants in India and 18 in Japan, and we are currently piloting in India. This is the perfect time to start here because Japan wants to become more foreigner friendly. Did I mention you can check the menu in any language? That's a bonus with us. The founding team has an experience of running a profitable food delivery startup and want to make this much bigger. To make this happen, we are looking for an investment and a strategic partner who can help us grow rapidly and execute smartly to reach to a market size of 800,000 restaurants in Japan. Arigato gozaimashita. Do you ever feel lonely? Do you wish you had someone to talk to? You're not the only one. The next company will help us to have access to a comforting voice 24-7. Let's welcome Holo Ash. まずはこの子の写真を見てください。とても可愛いですよね。この子はコンピューターが大好きで掲示板サイトを作ってみんなを楽しませていました。一方で他の子と同じことができない。忘れ物が多い。こういったことでいつも悩んでいました。この子は普
there is a huge disconnect in healthcare availability in emerging markets like India, Middle East, Africa. Majority of the doctors are based in cities, whereas majority of the population still lives in small towns and rural areas. And yes, this is a real unstaffed primary care center in village versus an overcrowded city hospital. I Online Doctor solves this problem for hospitals by providing them with a one-stop telehealth solution that is easily integrated and includes video consultation, appointment booking, prescription ordering, and more. Our platform is as easy to use for patients as FaceTime. Now, the hospitals can extend reach and provide services to patients wherever and whenever needed, thereby dramatically improving healthcare availability and outcomes. In just the last 12 months, we have had over 12,000 consultations and over 2,000 doctors registered on our platform. Three hospitals are using our platform and we have ongoing conversations with 15 hospitals with a sales pipeline of $600,000. And this is just the beginning. Yes, just the beginning. With easing regulation, the telemedicine market is huge, yet unexplored in emerging markets. In the next five years, it is expected to reach $29 billion just in India. We are here to raise around and capture these markets. Join us and together, let's make healthcare available for all. Thank you. Wow. This concludes the first half of the pitches. So we're going to take a, a short break and then come back for the second half. So 10 minutes, you're going to be countdown on the screen. And within this is to zero, I hope you to be back here. So stretch legs, go to the bathroom if you need to. I'll be back in less than 10, 10 minutes. Thank you, guys. <laughs>